welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to put labels on your images. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open up your presentation and I'm going to start adding labels to these food items. So I will choose insert from the top menu. I will then click on the drop down arrow of the shape to choose a label. I'll go ahead and select this label. Now I do not like really thick labels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it in the middle of the image for every single image. So I'm going to right click and choose edit text and I will put Italian food. If you don't like the text and you don't like the color of that label, you want to perfect that one label now because you're going to copy and paste it and put it on the other images. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this and get a label that I like for every single image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the shape fill and change it to white. I'm going to go ahead and select the text and I'm going to change it to the dark blue. If you don't like the thickness of the border, you would go up to the shape outline and change it there. I like a thin border. Once you are happy with that label, you're going to do control C and then control V. In this case, I'm going to paste it five more times. I will then move it to the other images. I'm going to place them in the center in the same location for every single image. So I'll make sure that it's aligned. As you can see, it's aligned with the red lines. I'll move this one so that they're equal distance apart. Remember, I am still keeping focused on balancing my poster. So I need to copy another one. The labels are placed equal distance apart from the other, and that is looking balanced to me. Now you're going to go ahead and replace the label. For example, that cake is not Italian food. So I'm going to go ahead and just put anything chocolate and it doesn't fit. So I'm just going to go ahead and just call it chocolate because I don't want to change that label. I want them all to be the exact same size. So this is Mexican food and this is Indian food. This is Thai food and this is lobster. Why this teacher spends a lot of time talking about food? I did want to point out if you change your mind you can always select the label, hold down the control key to select every single label. You can go up to the paint fill and you can change it that way. So if you wanted it to be black you can change it to black. You can also go up to the text fill and change that to white because that actually would look attractive as well. If you did do that I would probably change the shape outline to white. I actually like this look better so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Again I'm going to go ahead and hold the control key to grab these labels. I'm going to do control C for copy and go to the next slide and they actually happen to be pasted in the same location which is really nice. Now you may have done your presentation differently so you will not have it so easy. If you have to work harder it's your own darn fault for not paying attention to the teacher. Now I'm going to need to go in and change these labels. So I changed the label to match the images. Again, I'm saving time by selecting these labels, copying them, and going to the next slide, and then I'm replacing the text. Hopefully you're learning shortcuts throughout this demonstration. I went ahead and put the appropriate label for each image. A lot of times students will do this shortcut and they'll forget to replace the text. So do make sure you change the text. I will continue completing this presentation. This concludes the session on how to add labels to your presentation. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.